Hi, it's your Hello 55 and this is a tutorial on how to use my advanced virtual camera, in future I will call it Vika. I made this camera for action scripts 2 and 3, including version for advanced layers. If you don't know what Vcam is, it's a tool for 2D animation that allows you to control which part of stage should be shown on screen. My camera supports moving, zooming, rotating and even skewing. No matter how you distort the camera, it will show everything as you said. Small addition. In my Vcam I fixed issue with camera not working on first frame. If you want to put logos or any other attachments to camera, you should do it inside viewfinder that is inside camera. If you place it just inside camera and you use binding feature, graphics that you attach will act weird. So you can just put camera on screen and start working with it just like with any other VCAMs, but there are also some features that you might find useful. To show them I am going to put camera's control panel right here, split it apart using Ctrl B and put their elements on their own layer so it will be easier to work with them later and I will guide shake layer for now. So binding. Binding determines how strict viewfinder will follow camera on stage. The more the binding value is, the closer camera will get to positions that we set on stage. If binding value is 100%, camera will strictly follow it, if it is 0%, it will stay where it is, and if it is between 0 and 100%, it will move closer to set position, depends on how big binding value is. 20% binding is the most optimal in my opinion. You can change binding during the animation, so in case if your animation changes angle, and you need strict camera control, you can just put it to 100% and then return it back to one you used before once the angle finishes. Also, binding works for moving, scaling and rotating, but not for skewing and flipping. You still can set binding to 100% and do it manually if you really need to. Also, binding makes shaking very hard because you will need to move camera much more than you will do it without binding. To fix that I added another feature. Auto shakes. Shake arrow that you've seen is used to make VCAM shake with certain power and direction. Let me unguide this layer. The power is determined by length of arrow, while direction of shake is determined by its rotation. If you make shake arrow last only one frame, its power will subside each frame. If you want VCAM's shake to don't subside, you can leave it longer than on one frame and even control power and direction of shake by changing symbol size and rotation while it exists. If you find out that shakes that you made are too strong or too weak, which happened a lot in my projects, you can use shake power controller to control their power during the timeline. I didn't have that option in my previous project, so I had to go and change power of each shake manually or go inside their script and change values here. That's all you need to know about controlling VCAM, but there is one more feature related to it. Parallax. Parallax is a movie clip that you can insert into a certain symbol to create a parallax effect on it. This symbol needs to be a movie clip or this effect just won't work. You can set parallax value by changing its width. Full parallax width is 100 pixels and this will make object being fully attached to camera, while zero width won't take any effect on it and it will act like any other object that you can put on screen. Usually the further the object is, the bigger parallax value you should set for it. To make parallax correctly, you need to do next. First, uh, you need to select the center of your scene where you need to use parallax. Then you drag your camera to the center with its original size. If original size of VCAM doesn't follow ratio of your document, you should change size of rectangle inside viewfinder to match it. Draw background the way how it should look from this view and zoom. Then make all parallax involved movie clips registration points be at the center of scene that you chose. If your camera will rotate while you use parallax, I suggest you to make extra space for symbols that you are going to use so you won't see their boundaries. That's it about my VCAM. Thank you for watching. Good luck using it if you are going to. If you see any bugs, let me know so I can fix them as soon as possible. And see you later.